A stoush between the federal and state governments over infrastructure spending has been resolved. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has unveiled $1.5 billion to upgrade Victoria's ageing regional rail network. Dougal Beattie has more. Getting on at a Melbourne tram stop. Prime Minister riding in familiar city territory to unveil a big boost for regional rail. If the station, if the platform isn't long enough, if the station isn't good enough, you want it upgraded. That's what we're doing. We're getting on with the job. We are delivering. $1.42 billion will be spent on upgrading nine regional rail lines. An additional $150 million will be tipped in from the state government. Ballarat and Gippsland lines, the big winners with major track duplication. The seven-year project expected to create more than 1,000 jobs. But no sign of Daniel Andrews together with the Prime Minister for the big announcement. I spoke to him last night and he was as pleased as punch. So he's probably got something else to do than come out to Box Hill with us. The Premier instead was in Western Victoria for a wind energy project. Daniel Andrews glad the federal government is on board. I could be churlish and say that we shouldn't have to fight for our fair share, but look, at the end of the day, we've got, we've got the money, we're going to invest it properly, we'll put it to good use. The package ended months of bitter squabbling over infrastructure spending after the Premier labelled Malcolm Turnbull the Prime Minister of Sydney, a conflict which appears over for now. Why can't you guys cooperate more? Why are you arguing with the states and the states arguing with you? This is something to celebrate. The deal also includes $30 million to develop a business case for a rail link to Melbourne Airport. The state government has signalled it's not a priority until the Metro Tunnel is built. Dougal Beattie, Nine News.